welcome back to Let's Play Lost Odyssey. And on the last episode, we found Sed, the pirate, uh, Seth's son. And we, the control switched over to Cook and Mac after some scenes. And we were on the snow covered trail. So after heading north a little bit, we found a save point and healing point along with two chests. After we raided all that, go ahead and head back down the ladder and continue uh, back to the main uh, part of the tracks. Walking so slowly. Once you get back to the main tracks, continue north. get a scene of them aimlessly following the tracks but luckily for us the control will switch to some other characters Something so cool in this life of mine that I oh I'm I'm sorry I didn't mean to wake you. I dreamed you were singing. At least I thought I was dreaming. Were you really singing? No. Yeah, I. It's not something I do in front of people normally. Well, what? What happened to your eyes? My eyes? The color's different. What's going on? I had a dream. You mean your memories? Yes. Somehow, protecting you and releasing all that magic energy, it might have released the seal upon my memories as well. After all, I did seal off my own memories. You remember. That's... that's great! Uh, what's wrong? 
Are you upset about something that happened? Huh? Kaim really hated his memories. He said they were nothing but painful. As painful as it is, I think it's my duty to regain these memories. Duty? What do you mean? Kaim likely had much more involvement with other people than I. He has seen much more of life and death. The weight of a thousand years can indeed be painful. But I want to look back carefully at all of those years. Uh, wow, a thousand years. That's really long. I can see how it could be bad. You know, have everything change except for yourself, that would be hard. Mm. You are incredible. To live a thousand years, simply incredible. I can't even imagine. Uh, here, um, have some food. <laughs> this was uh, all there was. It's not fit for a queen, but uh, you know, it's keep your strength up. Thank you. Shall we eat? I'm uh, okay. You go ahead. You need to get your strength back. You must be exhausted. You had to use a lot of magic energy to protect me. But as a result, I finally know who I am. Thanks to you. Well, yeah, you know, I did what I had to do there. I just kind of sat there and uh, you basically protected me. Yeah, that's, that's really embarrassing, actually. Oh, man. I don't want to remember that. <laughs> Majesty, what will you do? All of your precious subjects shall now become fodder for Arthrosaurus to feed on. Everything they have built, their town, culture, history, their lives, their meager happiness, all shall literally be crushed under their feet. Stop this, your majesty. Me, Nomara. Why have you done this? Do you have no compassion at all? Ah, you realize, of course, that while you stand here... Oh, even more of your people have been slaughtered. Gongora, you monster! <laughs> you and I have an eternity. But do you have time to hesitate, your majesty? Are you deaf to their screams? All right. What must I do? It's times like these that immortals are so inconvenient. I can't very well take your life. 
However, whether one chooses to live as a walking corpse or to throw one's life away, the end result is the same. What are you talking about? You will seal off your memories. What? Your magic energy is very powerful. Use it to hypnotize yourself and lock your memories away. If you do so, I shall call it Arthrosaurus. You coward. You have only two choices here. Your Majesty, please, we must hurry. Who are you? And why do you dress me as Your Majesty? Because you are the Queen of Numara. I am? Truly? So after all the scenes unfold, you'll be Jansen, and you are at Goza. Go ahead and ram the uh, metal casing to the left to reveal a chest. Open that for an Ambrosia, and then exit to the south. It up. Let's go look for Kaim and the others. You'll be reunited with me, and you'll be at the Old Goza Western District. <clears throat> go ahead and head down the first set of stairs to your east to reach a treasure chest. This contains a soul medicine. Now head back up the steps and continue northeast you'll see that a bridge crumbles as you get near it then you'll come to another um, flight of stairs that we can descend and head over to the east Continue to the right. This does not look good. in the street check the southeast corner for a chest that contains a cure-all <clears throat> go ahead and head up the stairs and check the northeast narrow um, it's a narrow hidden path that you can take that leads to a broken house and this contains a slot seed inside of a chest
go ahead and This does not look good! So head back through the hidden path and head directly south, ignoring the path to the right. All the way to the south and a little west you'll find another chest. This contains six life-stealing twos. And then take the path we skipped earlier to reach another screen. that we can probe that contains a blazing ruby and we are in the eastern district but we're here a little bit too soon there's something we got to take care of real quick go ahead and head back and head north to the old abandoned apartment where we were at earlier. The one with all the floors in it. Fortunately, the elevator still works, so we can go inside. <clears throat> and I believe it's the... Uh, 10th floor? I'm not sure. Anyways, our main objective is to get to the casino where we were at earlier and made loads of money. Yeah, it's on the 10th floor. Exit the first door you come to on the left. <laughs> Go ahead and enter the main casino part. And head to the northwest corner. <laughs> to speak with the guy sitting on the ground or sitting on the couch or not him but the guy standing let me see if I can find him Eastern side named Scatterbrain Kudal. 
he says that his mom's gonna kill him because he lost a bunch of money at the casino. And he will tell you of a monster called Money <clears throat> who collects cash and their boss lives in an undersea, undersea cave on Numara. After talking to him and he tells you of the monies, go ahead and exit the casino. Now in the northwest corner of the room, he's kind of hard to see because he's blocked by this uh, pillar. Talk to this guy named Friendly Belgian. give you some treasure hunt information and it reads someone dropped an item on the road that leads out of low town <clears throat> all right so now that we got that treasure hunt information on the 10th floor go back to the elevator and choose backyard of the abandoned apartment where you can come and fight some extremely tough battles but unfortunately they are not open yet so you'll have to come back in a little while but there are some trash cans that we can kick in the northwest corner of the room and one of them has an item inside and it's a slot seed, which is very good. So there's nothing else we can do here because the place is closed off and it won't be open until a little while longer. Go ahead and go back over to the elevator and choose Low Town. I'm going to go ahead and save at this save point. And that's going to conclude this episode of Let's Play Lost Odyssey. I'll see you guys back for the next episode where we get some more stuff done. Still no sign of Kaim and Sarah, but I'm hoping we'll run into them soon. So I'll see you guys on the next episode.